everyone. Welcome back to Classroom Setup. I am in my car right now, heading to Target. I need to pick up some <clears throat> laminating sheets so that I can laminate some labels for my classroom library. I was there, today is Wednesday, I was there for a little bit Monday, um, not a little bit, like two hours, that's not a little bit, um, to organize my classroom library. And it looks pretty good. I um, just needed to, now I need to go through, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I need to go through and make sure all of the books in each bin are labeled with the bin number so that students know how to put the books back correctly and put correct labels on each of the bins. I think I need to make just like a handful or two of new labels for the classroom library. So that will be one of my jobs today. Today I'm fueled by water. If you are a teacher and you don't like coffee, same Z's because I don't like coffee. And I don't know what you do, but I like these V8 energy drinks that I will sometimes get, but they can get a bit pricey. They're like $5 for a six pack, which is not bad, but I don't like buying them in. I don't actually think they give me real energy. So if you're a teacher who doesn't like coffee, comment down below what you do to wake up in the morning and to get fueled for your day. Let me know, okay? So heading to Target now. I'm also bringing in my laminator to laminate those labels with the laminating sheets that I need to buy. And I'm also bringing in some three drawer units. They're in my back seat right now that I brought, that I bought yesterday. I went around to a couple stores looking for a specific unit, storage unit that I needed to store, I think I'm going to store paper and store some markers and label each bin. So that's what's going on. Let's dive right in. All right, so let me show you what I ended up getting done today. I did not show you any footage of me working because a lot of the day I was in and out of my classroom helping my first grade, the teacher in first grade down the hall, moving furniture. And so I didn't really record, but that's all right. So this is one of the big things that I got done. I put this here at this table with some paper drawers, paper, um, and then some turn-in bins. I just kind of made this area a space for students, but also for if I get a classroom aide to help me out. I did hang this stuff back up. This is where students make their lunch choice, which I might, since I might have a few more students, I might need to get a few more magnets. And this is like where you at if you're out of the classroom. So I put that up. I made a list of things I need to do. And the library. The library is like one that you haven't seen yet. So, I made some more labels for these, I organized the bins, put these nice baskets out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it this way, I just need to make some more labels and laminate labels. So I fixed up that, um, I'm designating this drawer cart, this um, cart thing, as my manipulative station for math and um, just clipboards here. So I'll put some math manipulatives down there that we're focusing on. And then I put out this for my spelling words. Those are the, that's the first round of spelling words. Put out some more labels, my dull and sharp bin labels. Oh, and then the counter. The counter is the biggest thing that I also worked on. So I don't want to show you over that. But this is the new mailbox system I'm going to use this year. This I um, took from my old team teacher's classroom. Each one is nicely labeled with numbers, but I have to update that because on the other side are students' names, which I didn't want you to see. So I cleaned off the counter, put that up, put some bins for homework turn-in and folder turn-in. 
And then I created a student station. So this currently is the bottom drawer. It has glue, all the stuff students might need, paper, and line paper. And this is where the marker station will be. I'm going to make some labels for that. So yeah, this is what I got done. Wanted to give you guys an update. They did, the custodial staff did take off the, it was like a VCR holder that was on this wall. So I can fit my little mini fridge here very nicely now, which is awesome. And then I also found a different place for my stickers. I actually made room in my teacher toolbox and I just need to put on some new labels. So yeah, they fit really nicely in there. Classroom job board. I have 15 jobs right now, but then these all can be jobs that have two people. So I have 20 jobs if I do have 20 students. I can maybe make a video during the school year of how I do classroom jobs and what each classroom job does. So that's how that's looking. I love it. And then we come over and we see the library here. All my labels are on now. I did also put numbers so that number will match the back number on the back of the book which doesn't currently so that's something I have to continue working on um, just because I reorganized my library and I did it a little differently this year so all my labels are on except these two green bins down here those are currently empty still but I will be going to my mother-in-law's this Sunday to for a party and so she actually has stored some of my books so I might be able to fill two more bins with those books so yeah it is looking so good I'm so happy okay. so another thing I wanted to get done is creating new labels for these drawers these are my spelling manipulatives and so I'm just going to take some time now to get these off
went to the teacher store. My school allows us to charge the school right from the store, and so we I go there pretty often. I got some bulletin board border. These are for my calendar. I didn't have these last year. I kind of just made my own, but I'd like actual ones. This is going to be what I put student names in and hang on my door. Got some, what are these actually called? Like ink pads, stamp for my stamps that I have. These are for student numbers. I had some, but they were, I was looking through them and they are not good quality. But they got torn up. And then some bookmarks. I got some star stickers to go on this incentive poster. Or, I don't know, if this is like, this is the poster I keep track of reading goals on. So, I use the stickers to fill in each of the individual boxes. And I got an Armor of God poster, so. Here is what's on the list still, and this list will probably have things added to it, I imagine, but I need to get a couple more desks. I need to ask the office how many more students they think I want to have, because I only currently have 15 desks in here. I have tons of boxes of books that I need to put away and organize. I need to finish organizing my library and uh, label each book with the number bin that it is in. I need to create a sign for my birthdays. I put birthdays right up there and I take pictures, but I need to create like a sign at the top that says like happy birthday or birthdays. And then I need to, I want to make some job cards for all my jobs. A card that says what they're supposed to do. I need to do the mailboxes and kind of tape over or put more different labels on that, but I probably won't do that until I know students' names in my class roster. I want to organize the cabinet that's in the very corner of my classroom that just is filled with stuff right now. It's pretty organized, but it could use some cleaning up. I want to create and better organize a manipulative cart for my math manipulatives and what will need to be on there for the beginning of the year, and then... I want to create locations for supplies when it's supply drop off and meet the teacher. So yeah, this will probably have some more things added to it, but that's what's on there for now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part of classroom setup day three. Thank you for joining me today and watching wherever you are. Feel free to comment any tips or ideas you have for me and make sure you give me a like and thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you.